transparency. And now the department has added cameras inside more than 200 patrol cars. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton shows us how they work. In addition to all sworn police officers having body cameras, these in-car cameras will allow officers to have a view of their back seats, which recently the chief says was helpful. Virginia Beach Police Chief Paul Newdigate recently told the city council about an incident where a woman getting arrested said a police officer touched her inappropriately. But the officer's body camera and a camera like this inside the patrol car told a different story. The police camera in the car capturing all that, you could hear her intent as she said, I'm going to mess with this officer. I'm going to screw his life up. And that's one of the benefits of installing 215 of these cameras inside marked Virginia Beach police patrol cars. So can you imagine to the satisfaction of the officer, not only is he cleared from the body cam, but now we know the intent behind the false allegation. It's the latest in an effort to increase transparency in the Virginia Beach Police Department. In addition to these cameras, every police officer now has a body camera that actually begins recording two minutes prior to activation. And the cameras are turned on when officers are dispatched to a scene instead of when they get there to prevent the officer from getting distracted and forgetting to turn it on. The president of the Virginia Beach NAACP says these are all welcome changes. I like the idea of any type of additional uh, resource that can assist when there are questions that come up about an interaction between citizens and the police force. The police department making the changes following the violence at the oceanfront in March 2021. A Virginia Beach police officer shot and killed Donovan Lynch, but the officer failed to activate his body camera. I always think there's an opportunity for improvement, but I am pleased with some of you know the changes thus far. But there are still some things left to be done. After police wrongly detained a man at Lynn Haven Mall in 2020 due to mistaken identity, the police department had hoped an outside agency would review some of the department's policies. But the department has struggled to find someone qualified to do it. Unfortunately, we still have not had that occur. Now, though, the chief says he is hopeful they're now on the right track and will find someone soon. And he says more tools are coming to try and make the department more transparent and people more safe. In Virginia Beach, Brennan Ponson, News 3.